testing 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 all right looking good sounding good welcome back to another uh, dugout Stutz baseball game uh, July 15th 1980 we have the San Francisco Giants uh, 39 and 47 playing the Pittsburgh Pirates who are at 49 and 41 our starting pitchers today John Candelaria who's uh, seven wins five losses 344 ERA and Bob Nepper, six and six with a 4.46 ERA. Um, we have uh, get my things lined up here where it's easy to go back and forth. Um, Candelaria's got good control, normal otherwise, and Bob Nepper is groove, but he's going to have trouble staying around the plate, and we've seen this before. So, uh, once again, disclaimer, I've been, I have not played again for a while, so I'm going to probably miss some rules here and there, and uh, this game is designed so well that uh, it, uh, it stays realistic despite not including some of the optional rules and whatnot anyway, so uh, if you notice them, I probably forgot, been a while. Um, this is the last game of July 15th, and we are on the top of the first. Joe Patini batting 143 is up against Candelaria, and Patini was uh, 232 in the season, but uh, he's only been up for 21 at bat, so he's uh, still early on in his season so far. And let's get things rolling here. And he will go down with a ground ball to the third baseman. And I bring up Darrell Evans, batting 278. And he will go down. Could have been a walk, but uh, Candelaria's ex excellent control. He will, should not allow any walks today. Instead, it's an out. And that'll be a fly ball to left field. Brings up Jack Clark, batting 281, 15 homers. Right around where he should be for the season. A little high on the home runs yet, but uh, he's running out of games quick. He, you know, I think he gets injured or something soon. Uh, we checked the three for the strikeout, but Jack Clark's a minus five. It's under D there, so we have a possible out. 83, fly ball to right field. Deep, but not deep enough. I'll roll the FB to home run just to make sure. Nothing going there. Fly ball right field, and the Giants go down. One, two, three in the first. Brings up Lee Lacey for the Pirates, batting 321. Oh, a little click happy there. And uh, we uh, have to keep an eye on the walks now. So the number we're looking for is right down here. If that number is less than that, that will add to that, and that will be our new adjusted walk uh, roll. So. Uh, 17 in this instance is not a walk. Nepper gets away with one of them anyway, and that'll be a probable out. Goes to uh, the uh, middle infielders, and the nine says that second baseman. So uh, he's out four to three. Uh, Tim Foley comes up batting 260. And he will go down 41, which is another ground ball to second base. We check everything out. Nothing extra to look for. Two ground balls to second baseman and uh, brings up Dave Parker. Uh, he's batting 266 with 15 home runs. He's just about up, uh, all the way up on top of his home run count, too. And uh, we have here a, you know, what should be a hit. Barely under his uh, walk. And a 16 will be a double. We'll check a fly ball to Al to see if that double goes anywhere and does not. So it will just remain a double. And that's a double to the left fielder. And Parker's on with the first hit of the game. Brings up Bill Robinson, 299 with a, uh, eight home runs. And uh, runner on 
face. And he will probably be out. 53 is a fly ball to the left field, and that will end the inning. Brings up Larry Herndon, top of the second. Um, he is batting 297. going to stroke a hit here too. Um, 68 will be a single to center field. Nothing else going. Brings up Rini Stennett. We've got in 236. And Rini Stennett, a uh, very good hit and run guy. So we're going to call hit and run and see if we get a yellow uh, box there on a good hit and run count. And we did not, so this will be normal. That'll be an out as normal because it's over 50. The 86 will be a line out to left field, and we need to check the ball and play charts because uh, line outs on hit and runs. Oh, never mind. Not a yellow. Uh, not a yellow uh, number. So the hit and run never came into play. So just a regular out. 86 line out to third baseman. Stay. Johnny LeMaster comes up batting 183. A lot of low batting averages on this team. He's not horrible at uh, hit and run, but not very good either. Uh, I'm going to look at uh, Herndon then and see what his steal rate is. He's steal rate of 5. Oh, and that brings us to, and I should have checked this last time. Um, we have a steal attempt five here. Herndon is a five, so he's going to attempt to steal base. So we will click that. The runner's lead is ten. And uh, he gets a bad lead. So now we've got a decision. The catcher's throw is seven. Bad lead penalizes you a little bit. Herndon is at a 50% stolen base. Uh, chance so all in all we're probably looking at about a half chance let the bad lead no I'm not going to do it I think he probably would have succeeded but so we go back to Johnny LeMaster and do I want to pin, uh, hit and run and I think I will I'll take a chance because Herndon can steal pretty good so well not pretty good but you know the deal and it is a hit and run is on could have been a walk, but it's not because of the control. It's over 50, so that will be an out. The normal out. 87 is a line out to, to uh, the middle infielders, and then we go to the ball and play chart. Line out. Space runner doubled by choice. And um, triple play, one to three. So let's see here. Not the triple play, where there's not enough batters out for, for that anyway. And it's a line out to the shortstop. So L6 and that'll be a line out to double play. L6, 6, 6 3. Well, hit and run did not pay off that time. Mike Easler batting 365. Check his walk, and there is a walk. There's that wildness starting to starting to come in already. And Easler, uh, Garner's batting 290. Easler's a six, but no stolen base showing up here. Garner, decent hit and run, so we'll try a hit and run. Looking for the yellow, not getting it. No hit and run is on. And we have a potential strikeout, and uh, that is good for a strikeout. Garner strikes out. All right, uh, that brings up Steve Nicosia batting 270. And uh, not a strikeout or a walk. Will be an out. Uh, 35 is an out. 4 to 3. Could be a double play with the 14. Garner is a C. And uh, C is an automatic. 
five, he, 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 we don't have to roll to see if they turn a double play, but we do have to roll to see if the runner can inter interrupt a double play. So uh, the master's speed of two, highly unlikely. Nope. So that'll be a four, six, three double play unless we roll an error here. No error on the play, so we have a double play. Mike Sedek. He is batting to thirteen. And he will not get a hit this time. Probably get struck out, and he does. He strikes out. Brings up Max Venable. He's batting 167. A lot of these guys have not played much. So if you're wondering why there's a lot of high-low ER uh, batting averages, because uh, a lot of these guys are, you see their games played are down around 60. Some of them don't start, but like minimal games. So uh, these guys don't have a whole lot of at-bats under their belt. Some of them must have just came in at the uh, deadline or traded over or called up. They don't remember at this point. So, um, Venable, he's the heat case in point, 36 at bats, and nobody on. And he will be out. 97 is a pop up to the first baseman. And that brings up pitcher Bob Nepper, batting 122. Always check the strikeouts on the pitchers because some of them can be very high. 46 is a ground ball to the shortstop, and um, that ends the inning. So we're getting a rather quick game here with two whole hits so far, and both teams' pitchers are doing well despite control problems from uh, potential control problems from Nepper, but that could change at any moment. All right, Delbera comes up at 187. Now, he is struggling because he's got 134 bats under uh, bats under his belt, and uh, he batted 220 for the season. So let's see what he can do here. Not this time, but there is a hustle up there, so we'll have to check his speed. Two's probably not going to happen. Um, probably out 22 ground ball to the third baseman. The roll is an eight. So he does not leg it out, and he's out five to three. Brings up John Candelaria batting 208. Not bad for a pitcher. Not bad for anybody. Some of these guys. And yeah, it would be a probable out. Did not get on. I didn't have to check for the wild pitch. 69 is a fly ball to center field, and the XC, the ball did not touch the ground, so there will be no checking for a uh, error. Brings up Lee Lacey batting 318. He grounded out his first time up. 72, fly ball to center field, probably out. This time we do check for the error. Is it say uh, straight up E? No error on the play. And they go down 1, 2, 3 also. Giants top of the fourth. Patini up. Uh, one bat 136. And he will not get a hit in this instance either. In fact, he'll go down on strikes. Darrell Evans is uh, batting 277. And he will fly out the left field. Brings up Jack Clark batting 280. That will probably be out. No out the hip, barely. 57 is a fly ball to left field. It's a range play, but nowhere's near the wall, so we won't have to check for that. And there's no range. Uh, uh, check in play, so it doesn't matter how far range it was, he picked it up. 
Uh, Tim Foley will come up for the Pirates, bottom of the fourth, batting 259. And, uh, oh, that could have been ugly. Uh, well, not ugly for the Pirates. Nah, he it would have been a double. Um, but in this case, it's a probable out. Um, and, uh, and it goes to a possible strikeout, but he is a minus 20 because he rarely strikes out. So he fights off the pitch, and that becomes a fly ball to the left field. Dave Parker. Parker uh, is probably out, uh, and we got a fly ball to right field, deep but not really deep enough. I'll check it anyway. Out F9, two down. Bill Robinson. Bill Robinson gets a hit. A 29 will be a triple. Got a roll fly ball to out, home run, nothing going there. So that'll be a triple to right field. the second hit of the day for the box both have been extra bases and it brings up Mike Easler with two out runner on third and uh, Easler is probably out 52 is a ground ball to first base we have a slow roller showing up here so uh, we don't have to check for range but we do have to check the, the uh, batter speed for against the uh, first baseman's range uh, four. I will roll the dice before any close plays, uh, but it is zero that we're looking for. Oh, not warm up. Come on, Greg. Bob Nepper, he was grooved. And wild. Four. All right, now hit the right button. Boy, that threw me for a loop. Now I can't even remember what I was doing there. Uh, oh, yeah. Rolling for a zero. And a 15 is not even close. So he is out. That would be a three to one. As it was a long range. And that'll bring up Larry Herndon. Batting 300. Probably out, but we have an out to hit check. Uh, no walk because of the uh, control. And uh, wouldn't have walked anyway because he needs it 20 and the con pitcher to have at least a control uh, of wild one. So that'll be an out to hit on 57, which is a fly ball to left field. And a pretty long range, so. Left field at rate four, range check four. Um, needs a hit, gets a hit of five or less. And he is out. Paul doesn't hit the ground, so we have an out. Fly ball to seven. Rennie Stennett is up. And he's probably going down. 23 is a ground ball to the second baseman. Easy play, out four three. And Johnny LeMaster batting 182 is coming up. He lined into a double play last time. And he's not going to do much better this time. There is an out the hit check. Um, and that will be to the middle infielder, second base. And uh, pretty far range again. Second baseman is good, though. He's got a range at rate of 7. So uh, a hit if one or less. Oh, and would you look at that. We have a hit. Roll to 1. So that is a hit then out on a 2, which I know is a single. And we don't have to check the slow, ro slow roller because it's a single, not a ground out. So Johnny LeMaster comes through, raising his batting average to 185. Brings up Mike Sedek. 2 out, runner on first. And this will probably be three outs. 70 is a fly ball to center field. And not close enough to the wall to matter. And that's the end of the inning. Uh, both teams are putting up zeros on the scoreboard. Bottom of the fifth. Uh, Phil Garner batting 289. Uh, out to hit check. 17-21 Phil Garner. He is walked. So the out to hit never comes into play.
brings up Steve Nicosia. The runner on first. Nicosia is a pretty good hit and runner, so we'll call hit and run. Uh, we do not go to have a good hit and run count, so we're not going to put the hit and run in play, and uh, Nicosia walks anyway. So the control is definitely affecting him this inning. Uh, Dale Barrow batting the lowly 185. And this time, hit to an out check. Uh, 48 for Barra is a single to left field. Now, it's a pretty close to the fielder as we have a 13, so there's a pretty good possibility that he might get the out. We'll, we'll see here. Single to seven, I think I said. Yes. Hot in PA today, so my brain is mush. Out if nine or less. And we have a fly out, so there you have it. Uh, two, to, two, to, two plays now. Out F7 have uh, been changed by range plays. Which uh, Dale Barra could have used that hit, but hey, we're not here to be fair and give them what they need. We're here to play the game. Brings up John Candelaria with one out. We're going to go ahead and try and sacrifice Bunt with him. He needs a 70 or more or less to complete the Bunt. He does. Go to Bunt chart, look up to 15, see if the first baseman gets on the first base side of the mound. And I'm not going to try for anything except the out. So we'll go out three to four. Right, that brings up uh, Lee Lacey batting 316 with two out, and that runners on second and third. Oh, and Lee Lacey is going to come through. That is not a hit to out check, so it's straight up hit, and Lee Lacey gets a single to center field with two out. Let's see whether we want to try to get Nikosha in or not. Nicosia is a three speed, slow, but with the two outs he gets a plus eight. That could be eleven. And that was a single to eight runner on second. So let's go check the charts out and see what the uh, guy on second, no modification. And it's real close to the fielder, so there's probably a good chance that we're not even going to do this, but we will... Uh, We'll give it a go. We'll roll the dice and see. Eight. Hit. One. Runner speed 11. Fielder three. Fielder got a bad reaction that makes it uh, a plus three. So that goes 11, 14. Add range uh, 10, 24. Subtract the arm. Four is 20. Yeah, we'll try that. And he's easily safe. So we have a single and two runner score cleared the bases. Bob Nepper's starting to get rocked around a little bit here and most of that no all of that's due to control. Uh, Tim Foley with a runner on first and boy if it wasn't two outs he'd definitely try to hit and run and he gets the hit 35 is a single to seven see if we can get uh, Lacey to uh, third base or not. Single to seven. Runner on first. We're subtracting five. That's what I thought I want to make sure. So we're adding three because of the two out plus eight. So that will be uh, speed of speed of uh, nine. So Seven hit one nine and he's safe. I probably shouldn't have tried that one, but there's a lot of difference when there's two outs and the runners are running. It rings up Dave Parker and um Nepper's struggling a little bit in here and that tends to happen with him. Parker Walks, no doubt about that one. Walks to load the bases with two out, and uh, 
Napper needs to get Bill Robinson or this game begins to get out of hand. And he walks, oh man, walks Bill Robinson in for another run. And he's in danger of batting around, Mike Easler. And Mike Easler is, wow, he could tear, he could really tear Nepper up. Got to try it. And 17 for Easler. Unfortunately, he did not roll wild on that one. That's a probable out. 84 is a fly ball to right field, and that will mercifully end the inning. But the damage is done. Pirates score three and leave them loaded. All right, that brings back, brings up Max Venable trying to get his season going. And Venable actually get a hit out of this one and a possible error. 52 is a single to center field. No error on the play. Max Venable is a good runner, but we have a one shown up here, and he's a four, so he will not try and steal. So we have a single for Venable. Races his age, uh, batting average up to 184. Brings up Bob Nepper. Do I want to leave him in? Yeah, this is the 80s. And we'll try to sacrifice Bunt with him. He needs an 88. Gets a 59. We go to the bunt chart. Look at the six on a successful. That is catcher on the third base side near the line. And then we'll just take the sacrifice hit and go three to uh, two to four. That brings up Joe Patini with a runner on second, one down. Patini's batting 130 and really needs to get things going, and this would be a good opportunity. And he does not. Uh, 34 is an out to uh, shortstop, and I'm pretty sure the 13 says the batter is not going to run, and he will not. So the batter stays on second. Now it's 6 to 3. Brings up Darrell Evans, about 276. It's up to him to get a run on the board. And he, well, maybe out the hit showing there. Uh, 71 will be a fly ball to center field, and it's decent range, so he has a small chance of getting this. And center fader's not rated that great. A hit of three or less. Nope, F8. So, we head to the bottom of the sixth. Uh, Pirates had a big inning last inning, and uh, Nepper's trying to hold on for a respectable start, but uh, he gave up four walks in that inning alone, and um, just wasn't pretty. Let's see what happens here. Garner comes up. And... Probably out. Not a strikeout because he's minus 10. And we have a six showing. So we'll go down here. That will be a foul out, possibly. But we got that 17, which is out of play in uh, Three Rivers. So let's go to the ball and play right and double check this. No. Let's go to the game chart. Double check this. Yes, foul out. So he will re roll because. Uh, Uh, the foul ball is out of play. So, uh, Garner again. Barely gets out. 17. Unfortunately, didn't roll wild. 83 is a fly ball to right field, but we have a 20 showing, and Garner can barely hit a home run. So, we'll hit the uh, fly ball to home run, and it adds the fly ball out. All right, Stephen Nicosia comes up at 267. He will probably be out. 
51 being a uh, ground ball to the uh, first baseman. And he'll get a hit with three or less, but does not. That will be a uh, three unassisted. Uh, Nepper's looking a little sharper here, but still not sharp enough for me to keep him in the game after this inning. Del Barra comes up, trying to improve his batting average, and does barely not walk. Gets out and uh, hit five to three. Ooh. Thought Nepper had his sixth walk there. That was going to. I hate walks. So, we have Jack Clark up. And Candelaria is rated six, and so we need to check him out. And he wrote a five error, so he's good. Um, he can actually uh, hasn't given up any runs yet. He can still go for a complete game. And he rolls and out the hit possibility for Clark. Does not strike out. Fifty-two ground ball to first base. And the hit of three or less, but does not get it. So uh, um, first base shovels it to the pitcher, as we see right here. Out three to one. Uh, brings up Larry Herndon. Larry Herndon, possible hit batter, but I doubt it, and then it would be true. Um, out five to three. Giants are going down meekly, which is why they have that bad record. And Rennie Stennett's up batting 234. They're just l looking for any kind of a base runner right now. He goes down on an out to hit check. 25 will be to the second baseman, but it's real close to the player, so I doubt, doubt he'll get a hit here. Especially with the second baseman rated 7. No chance. Out 4 to 3. And that brings up Candelaria. Candelaria will stay in the game. Do I want to try Nepper? Nope, I don't think so. I think it'd be a good opportunity to do a double switch. Uh, ooh. Ernie Stennett's the good fielder that's been. Uh, Stennett that's Phil Garner. Ernie Stennett. We'll, we'll take him out. He doesn't have a good batting average. So we'll do a uh, double switch, bring in a new pitcher. And let's see where we're at here. Go to the away bench, look for a second baseman. Metzger can play second. Strain can play second. Strain's probably the better man at his primary position, so let's get Strain in there. We'll put him in the ninth position. Playing second base. And we'll get on to my pitching chart and see who's coming in to pitch the seventh, correct? Yes, seventh for the Giants. That'll be Gary Lavelle. him in uh, the vacated fifth position for Stennett. And bring him over here. And warm him up. He comes in with good control. Very rare where I see uh, two great pitchers like that. I mean, two great control pitches in one game like that. That's uh, awesome. And let's go into ball score and make us official. Let's get it a new pitcher. Defensive replacement. Strain, correct? Yes, strain second base. How quickly we forget. 
and Lavelle batting fifth. Double check just to make sure that I clicked the right positions, and I did. All right, Lavelle comes in with a th three wins, three losses, four saves, two six five ERA, and he faces John Candelaria. And Candelaria will get a hit off of him. Boom. 99 is an infield single, so it's not, not a guaranteed hit. And we also have the XC showing up there. So we go to the uh, uh, ball in play. Infield single, and we read there that uh, we're using the fielder's rating. And this is a pitcher, so we were using, I'll roll these dice down here to get the fielder. There's a way to look that up, and I forget what it is. Uh, so, let's go with the second baseman on that one. All right. So, in few, we're looking at the second baseman, so oh, good roll. Seven um, will get him out and does not happen. And we roll against the no error on the play. So we have a single to the second baseman, infield single. And uh, Candelaria is on, brings up Lee Lacey. Lee Lacey will probably be out. 96 is a pitcher catcher. So we've got to go to the uh, handy dandy chart here with the main back, I believe it is. Uh, Lavelle's a four pitcher. And uh, nope, uh, I'm off on everything today. Out to hit. Uh, 14. Man, i got to go to ball and play chart, chart first. Come on, Greg, get it together. 14, um, which is a range 2 for the pitcher. And he is a 4. So we go main front, fielder rate 4, range 2. So we are looking at 1 or less to get a hit. And does not get it. So that would be out uh, 1 to 3. I don't like uh, giving away double plays on range checks, so we'll let him go. If it's got such a tight play that you have to do a range check on it, I always consider that there is no chance for a double play. Um, just mind's eye. Homebrew. Brings up uh, Foley with a runner on second. And Foley comes through with a hit, barely. And that will go to center field. And uh, close to the runner, I'm not going to try to advance him. Cause that is the pitcher. He's not very fast. So I'll just keep him on third. We've already got a three-run cushion. We'll try to add it on without giving the momentum back to the other team. And... That will bring up Dave Parker with the runners on first and third. One out. And he will go down probably. 17 is within his range, but Parker's a minus two. We have a two there, so not strike out. And he will ground out to the first baseman. And at 10 could very well be a inning ending double play. Let's transfer that over. So that's a first baseman. And uh, we need to look 363. Three. Parker is a B. And grounded to uh, first base. 10 is an A star. So that's guaranteed. Uh, they, they don't have to try to turn it. 363 three double play. 
and the three is uh, they can't try to beat it with the runner either so that is a three six three inning ending double play for Parker not too happy with that one all right so uh, Candelaria will go into the eighth with a three nothing lead uh, he's only given up three hits three base runners at that and he goes up against Lamaster and um, it gives up another hit and with the master that will be a single to right field second hit of the game for him and that brings up Sedek Mike Sedek um, time to start getting aggressive a little hit and run action there he's 26 it's not horrible but we don't have the uh, hit, and, hit and run count so we will, he's probably out. Actually, that's under 50, so the base runner goes. Oh, no, 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 hit and run. So we just do this as normal. The hit runs off, the not the not proper count. Um, so we look at this as if it was just a regular play. 100 for Sadek is a uh, foul out to 11. And that's uh, not out of the stadium, so we will go to the main back, look at 11, not main back, VIP back. And we will look at the foul out 11, that goes first baseman, X3. Does not advance the runner. Uh, Max Venable comes up. He's not a very good hit and run guy, so we won't try that. He is probably out. And it's out five to three, and even worse, he's got a ten there. He's a C. That's a that's a uh, oh boy, losing my brain today. That is a uh, five four three double play, unless Venable can out uh, break it up, and he does not. So five four three double play, and that's the end of that inning. A lot of double plays in this game, so I can go a whole game sometimes without seeing them. Uh, Gary Lavelle will uh, face Bill Robinson to start the eighth, or in the bottom of the eighth, and uh, he's good for two innings, so we don't have to roll anything. And um, probably out. 96 is another pitcher catcher. That will be the catcher. We got to look for an error too. So we go to the ball and play chart, look for the range, and that will be a catcher three. So the catcher three, and the catcher's rate is three, so uh, main front, three, three. We need a five or less. Oh, and he got a two. So uh, that would be a... Uh, infield signal and negates that uh, error check brings up Mike Easler with a runner on first and wow almost uh, within his range to try for a steal too Easler's uh, not going to try hitting and running but uh, he will get a hit, and 16 is within his home run range, so we try fly a home run the fly ball on the right field against the pitcher's minus 11, so this probably will be a double. Yep, went over the wall. So, uh, just kind of blew this one wide open, and uh, is now a score of 5 to nothing in the bottom of the eighth and uh, bases are empty for Phil Garner we'll leave LaBelle out here a little bit oh that's probably gonna be the last batter for him uh, Garner strokes a single to right field and um, that's uh, five hits in one inning he's trying to get it one out in the second inning brings up Nicosia righty against the lefty let's just go ahead and call it let's see where we're at here 
Uh, let's see if we can do a double switch with the uh, left fielder. All right. So, who do we have for left field? Jim Wolford and Terry Whitfield. I think I'd like to. Well, they're dead even. Whitfield has a better arm. We'll bring Whitfield in. And he will bat uh, fifth. And who do we want to bring in for the eighth inning? Al Holland. And he will bat eighth. Make sure that's who we want. Yep. All right. off the out of the pen warm him up he comes in control 10 too this is unbelievable all right so he has an inherited runner and a runner on and he will be facing Steve Nicosia. Now Holland is uh, one win, two losses, one save, and a 463 ERA. In real life, he is at a 175, so he's been getting beat up. I played this with two different uh, platforms, so it's probably the unlucky rolls for him. So, with that being said, let's see how Nikosha does against him. Wow, almost a hit there too. But instead, it'll probably be, and yes, it will be a strikeout as the 13 falls with it. His K rate and is well above, the 18 is well above his minus 11. So Nikosha strikes out. We get the first out of the inning. And that brings up Dale Barra. And he will be rolling for now to hit check. Nope, he will not be. That two right there is within his plus two range. There are no, uh, no plus K showing, so Barra strikes out. So Holland comes in and uh, is trying to rectify the situation by putting him out the easy way. That brings up Candelaria. Candelaria is going to uh, stay in the game, try and get a complete game with that five, league, five run cushion and he will swing away with two out and that's a probable well, I mean not a probable that's a uh, out the hit check 70 is a fly ball center field should be an out though with that 10 and center fielder reels it in barely oh hey it's not a base play that's a out player we'd have to check for uh, ties and stuff but that's a uh, fly ball to center field and um, Holland does his job all right Candelaria on the top of the ninth will face Joe Strain trying for the complete game uh, Joe Strain uh, is batting 224, but in real life he was a 286. So I'm going to stick with him, I think. Besides, Candelaria is a lefty and he's a righty. Let's see if Strain can get something going on here. Nope, would have walked, but instead he uh, possible strikeout, but he fights that off of his ears a minus 18. So we'll ground ball to third baseman, check the error. No error, and we also have a hustle showing, so we got to roll against his speed of two. No go. 
So we have an out five to three. A lot of checks on that. Brings up Joe Patini batting 125. That will warn a pinch hitter, I believe. So who do we want to get, bring in? Against the lefty for the Giants. Joe Strain's in already. Milt May. Milt May is batting to 11. No hit bat, and it's uh, the pitch count actually made that well out of range, but that would have been right on the edge. Instead, it is a ground out to the shortstop, and we got a roll for an error check. No error on the play, out 6 3. And that brings up Darrell Evans with the last out, down by five. They'd have to have one hell of a comeback. I'll keep Darrell Evans in there because he's got a pretty heavy bat. And, oh, he d comes through with a, uh, would have been a walk, but uh, the control took care of that. I mean, he gets a hit anyway, single to center field to keep the game alive for another batter. That'll be Jack Clark. He's a good batter to have come up in this situation. But still, they need a ton of runs. So, Jack Clark... Two out, runner on first. Gets a hit. And that is 38, which is a triple, so we got to try fly ball to home run. No uh, home run there, but the triple does get rid of uh, Candelaria's shutout. And it gets the manager thinking about putting up the bullpen, so we'll say that he's got the bullpen in motion. And if... Uh, Brings up Herndon. And um, this could be Candelaria's left batter if he starts playing around here. And he does. He gives up another hit. Amazing how that works. Single to left field, and that brings in another run. So he went from a nice shutout to making this a save opportunity. And it's like the wheels just fell off for Candelaria, so uh, the manager's going to make a motion to the bullpen. And um, Candelaria's the last one to bat, so we'll just go ahead and do a straight-up pitch change. And we will go to uh, handy-dandy pitching status, put the ninth inning in, and that will bring out Grant Jackson. Grant Jackson, I'm pretty sure, has saves, so he will be the one to come in. Yes, nine saves. Uh, to Colby was the big-time guy, but he may not be available. As Grant Jackson does get saves, I will let that call stand. I don't like bringing in pitchers in this era for one inning, but... Uh, it looked like the wheels just fell off, and I could sit there and say one more batter all day long right into a loss for the Pirates. So we would do what I think should be done and bring in Grant Jackson. He has an inherited runners, and he will be facing Terry Whitfield for his youth. That's why I do double switches. Um, that would have normally been a uh, – had to bring in a pitch hitter, which may have been him anyway, but – it worked out well this time. Um, Whitfield is uh, hits left against lefty Grant Jackson, and wow, he walks. So here we go. This game just got interesting in a hurry. Giants needed a comeback, and they've already got two of the runs. Now they have two runners on and the tying run at the plate, and Johnny LeMaster, and LeMaster's batting 188. And he's got a little, eh, he doesn't have much pump and pop in his bat. He has been batting great for this replay, though, because he has more home runs than he hit in real life by one. But uh, he's a righty against the lefty, and we'll keep him in there. 
and he will not come through and that will be a ground ball to the second base maybe not we got an error showing ground ball to the second baseman and uh, no error on the play out 4-3 to end the game So, let's assign pitchers here. Nepper takes a loss. Oh. I forgot to do the pitching change. We go back. Undo. The out four to three. New pitcher. Grant Jackson ninth. Out four to three. And then we go here. Save never loss. Okay, no harm, no foul. And uh, so the Pirates fend off a late rally by the Giants to win this one five to two. And um, I thank you again for joining me. And this was uh, the uh, Giants versus the Pirates using dugout steps.